I never been to SantaCon. Uh, I don't really know what SantaCon is. So if you could, you attended. You said I have not not consciously or um, <laughs> <laughs> intentionally at all. But my birthday is December tenth, and so mm. often the um, the day that I'll be going out into the city for my birthday falls on SantaCon. So there's lots of drunk Santa stories <laughs> in my birthday celebrations, um, and the the moms the group of moms going out and doing ecstasy in the East Village may or may not be based um, in reality mm. and have taken place on SantaCon. But SantaCon is, uh, it's a day uh, mid-December where lots of sort of drunk frat boy types tend to buy a Santa costume and go out on the town in New York. And so you'll walk around and there's just all these like Santas doing inappropriate things in various locations around New York City. And I think one of the funniest things in the, in the play is that these moms sort of witness uh, someone in a Santa suit masturbating outside a window, right? And there's this moment of you catch them really holding on to this idea of Santa and that like, it's not that they saw a man dressed as Santa masturbating, <laughs> it's like they saw Santa masturbating. Like they, they say Santa's masturbating outside. Mm -hmm. um, and can you talk a little bit about that sort of insistence as adults to hold on to like these mythical or like these magical naive notions of, of the holidays? Yeah, I mean, um, the, the the probably true answer is that I think that those are things that we do unconsciously, mm -hmm. right? With that when, we're, when we're like, when we don't have our like smart face on, when we're just like <laughs> perceiving and interacting with the world, like you mm -hmm. just do fall, fall back on those sort of like things of like Santa. Um, and I guess this more thoughtful answer um, is this idea that like we're constantly kind of like at the same time as we're dismantling things and ideas and structures we're also like we're raised with them and so have like them kind of embedded in us mm. um so can we talk also a little bit about the structure of the play itself you we talk Please. a little bit about the, <laughs> Tell me. yeah we talk a little bit about the um sort of like the emergence of the pageant play but along with that there's also sort of like these historical little nuggets that pop in throughout mm -hmm. um in terms of Christmas and just again holiday traditions. Okay. So what kind of inspired you to play with that structure and how that sort of goes back and forth? In part I think a lot of my interest in theater and in what can we do with theater is um, how do we use stories and how do stories inform our lives mm -hmm. um, and how can they be helpful and also how can they be harmful and how are these old narratives like how do they need questioning mm -hmm. and what happens if we do question them and re-examine them and rewrite them um, so um, partly because of that and partly because of the tradition of a Christmas pageant and yeah. thinking about um, what Mm, what traditional narratives get told around the holiday season um, and why. Mm. Initially, the only historical parts were from like a Judeo-Christian right. narrative and then I started to do more research and go like, well, well, actually, like, what is the bigger picture and mm. where does this holiday come from and where especially does this holiday in our country come from? And I found these fascinating things like the fact that... Um, in the mid 1800s, um, the United States was having all of these like workers riots and things, and just basically decided to invent a holiday um, that did have ties to pagan rituals, that did have ties to celebrations in Europe. But like all of the so many of the ideas that we have about like gathering around a Christmas tree and singing mm -hmm. carols and all that was purely invented based on some stories that were written in England and based on the power structures that be going like, let's get everybody out of the streets and tell them to stop rioting and to go home and sing some carols and bake cookies. <laughs> and then the, the way that those things like then become adopted as like, well, mm -hmm. this is what we do. This is just what we do because it's December and because right. we're Americans. So in writing this, this might be a, a massive question, but so in writing this, did you yourself kind of reach uh, a point of, of, what you feel the holidays should be? Or is there something that you want the audience specifically to take away from it? Or are you still kind of very much grappling with the things that you wrote about? I think both. Mm. I think both. I think definitely um, we're, we're always going to be, I think, at this place of holding on to stuff that we care about for whatever reasons, trying to be mindful of it, trying to be good, and failing. Mm -hmm. And if we can somehow find a way to embrace all of that, then there is at least an honest attempt there. And I mm. think that it's like the truth that, that we can come to together 
um, is maybe like this is the most we can do is to try as hard as we can and to fail and to mm. try and to fail and to do that together. Um, do you have any specific goals for your studio retreat? Um, yeah, a lot of, um, I think that I touched on before, a lot of what I, where I'm at with the play now is that it, it because it's asking big, messy questions that I don't know the answer to, uh, it's big and messy and I don't know <laughs> the answer to it totally. Yeah. Um, and, and especially, um, structurally figuring out how these three different worlds live together and how they go together to make something in the shape mm. roughly of a play. Yeah. Um, so, um, so yeah, my, my goals for the week are to, I think, but first separate the three different um, mm. storylines, the historical pageant stuff, the theatrical stuff, the, um, the two moms raising their twin daughters mm. and the single mom, and then the moms all together doing ecstasy on Santa Con. Um, <laughs> and yeah. then to kind of to figure out the arcs separately mm -hmm. and then to bring them all together and to kind of figure out how they're informing each other yeah. and what the, the momentum of the whole thing is. Um, do you want to invite people to to the readings? You want to tell them when the date is? Yeah, 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 yeah. although <laughs> I think I know. I have it too. Okay. <laughs> great, great, great. Yeah. Fantastic. I think I sent out an email wrong yeah. the first time. Great. So yeah. it's January 25th at 7 p.m. and January 26th at 3 p.m. Yeah. So make sure to come see a liberal tradition. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.